Let's talk Bitcoin mining. In this story, there are two investors and a miner. We're going to use fake round numbers everywhere to keep everything simple. The investors come to the table with $100 and $200 respectively. Although miners spend a considerable amount of money to acquire all their equipment, facilities, and to pay their employees, we will ignore all those upfront expenses and assume they come to the table with zero dollars. But mining consumes an enormous amount of electricity, so they are accumulating bills before they are eventually rewarded with a Bitcoin. In this scenario, we will assume that validating a block to confirm a transaction consumes $50 worth of electricity. Since they must pay their bills in dollars, the first order of business is to sell their new Bitcoin. Investor 1 is pleased with his purchase, but Investor 2 is dying to get into this market, so he offers $200 for the Bitcoin. Investor 1 is thrilled. He just doubled his money. But remember, with every transaction, the miner pays a $50 electricity bill and earns rewards in Bitcoin. Investor 3 sees how profitable Bitcoin can be, so he FOMOs in with $500 and buys two Bitcoins for $250 each. Let's summarize where we are. Investor 1 has doubled his money and is up $100. Investor 2 has made 25% and is up $50. The miner, after paying all their bills, is still up $200. And Investor 3 has two Bitcoins that have appreciated in value from $100 to $250 and is dreaming about Lambos. Everyone is happy. Investor 1 can't believe his luck. He decides to take his dollars and run. Now, as the supply of new dollars dries up and the mining bills continue to accumulate, Investor 3 starts to have doubts and decides to dump his Bitcoin before he loses everything. Investor 2 sold him one Bitcoin for $250 and is now thrilled to buy two Bitcoins back for half price. Bitcoin is down 50%, but he's buying the dip and couldn't be happier. Investor 3 decides he's had enough gambling in the Bitcoin casino and decides to lick his wounds at home. So now what? Let's take a look at where we are. Investor 2 is the last man hodling with diamond hands, but all the dollars in the system are with the miners. They usually sell more Bitcoin than they buy because they have bills to pay in dollars. So there was nobody left to buy his Bitcoin. If he was holding oil or wheat or even gold, it wouldn't be so bad because at least he has the commodity. But instead, he's stuck holding a bag of worthless bits. So what did we learn? I'm going to guess what a few signs of distress in the Bitcoin market would look like. Number one, if the supply of new dollars starts to dry up, I would expect to see that on the balance sheet of miners. They will start accumulating Bitcoins. In the short term, that isn't a problem for them because the less Bitcoins they sell, the higher the price will get. But eventually, they need to pay their bills. So number two, I would take a very close look at their cash positions. When the cash gets low, they will need to raise funds. The easiest way to raise funds is to liquidate their Bitcoin hoards. Number three, another approach might be to reduce costs. If they start to doubt the long-term value of Bitcoin, why spend all their cash on something they don't expect to have any value? Now, I assume most miners are hardcore Bitcoin believers, so this might be a stretch. But if I started to see the hash rate come down, that would signal a loss of confidence. So let's take a look at where we are today. Miners are accumulating Bitcoin. The article claims it's because they believe the price will go up and they want to strengthen their balance sheets. Sure they do. Marathon is one of the largest mining companies and also happens to be publicly traded. This is their 2021 Q3 earnings statement. Cash is down from $141 million to just under $33 million and their digital currency holdings are up from $2 million to 64 million, but I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Looks like they managed to obtain a $100 million line of credit. That should hopefully tide them over until the next Bitcoin pump. Oh, and they sold $650 million of debt. Wow, they are aggressively raising cash. Maybe they think the price won't recover for a while. And their stock is tanking. It's down almost 30% in the last week, but I'm sure it has nothing to do with these SEC subpoenas for securities fraud or this potential lawsuit from investors. Finally, it looks like the hash rate is recovering nicely from the China ban crash, so no signs of a loss of confidence yet, but let's keep our eyes open. Anyhow, this is not financial advice. Do your own research.